Well, this is a bit late now, isn't it? To be fair, unlike most of the, my excuses for being late with work, well, it's not really work this, I do have an excuse. I lent the PlayStation 4 to a family member, and I only just got it back. And to be fair, when I got the PlayStation back, there were some uh, distractions. You're right, this music doesn't get old. <laughs> Trying to drag yourself away from Helldivers 2 is very difficult. But here we are, back to episode 3 of the Red Dead 2 playthrough. Now, if you remember last time, left off at a very bad moment. I'd essentially managed to get myself a big bounty in the starting location. Oh boy. Now, the first thing I've got to do is pay off this goddamn bounty. Because I'm pretty... Yep. Oh, God. So I have to find my way back to a safe place in order to pay this off. Huh. This is going to be tricky. From what I remember, there's a few post offices in and around the area. But the easiest way is to basically book it straight back here and pay it off. And hope I don't run into any lawmen. Because if I run into more lawmen, I'm just going to get a bigger wanted level. Well, let's try it, shall we? Now the goal is to do a couple of the camp missions in this area. See if we can progress through the story a bit more. Obviously, I'm going to have to pay off the bounty first, because if I don't do that, this is going to be a very short episode. Uh, let's make sure I've got Schofield ready to go. You know what the funny thing is? I wanted to do this series because Moose has this game and doesn't play it, and I ended up playing it for him while he watched. You know, the whole point of this being an elaborate bit. He's just told me recently that he's going to get this on PC when it comes on sale. So then he can play it himself. I was like, nope, that's not happening. I'm doing this. This is my bit, damn it. Alright, now the trick will be getting into Valentine without anyone having a shot at me. If I'm quick and careful, I can get around the main town without annoying people. Ooh, okay. The important thing is to just get around the side of the lawman, because even if the sheriff sees you, you're screwed. But I should be able to get away with it. As long as I'm careful, and I don't annoy anybody, and I'm all nice. <whistles> Nothing to see here. Regular person. Someone just shouted. Nice Hello, car. Man, pleased to see you. Happy to help you start over. Oh. Okay. Thank God for that. So that train that got robbed up in the Grizzlies? Had Mr. Cornwall's car on it, apparently. Hey. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Thanks. Okay, so there's a couple of things we can do in the town. You might have noticed on the map, as I was walking in, there's a big white mark. That usually means it's a stranger mission. And the great thing is, it's been so long since I played this, I don't remember half of the crap you get up to. Hey, friend. Hello. Stay calm. Yeah. Think I have an idea what this one's about. Come on, sir. Try to remember. 
What really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. <coughs> One of them was a girl, anyhow. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Hmm. I do remember this one. So this is quite a good side mission, but it's gonna take me a while because Black Bell isn't available until you've reached Saint Denis. So, let's just focus on doing... Hey, partner. Hello. The mission's inside Valentine. Well, inside and around. It looks like our first one is just around here. Howdy, partner. <laughs> That's the sheriff. Let's not fuck him over. Don't be causing no more ruckus around here, all right? Are you following me? We got a wild one here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's all, Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! There hey, he is! Watch where you're going! Take it Are easy, you about to pal. kiss that guy Take or punch you? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer! <laughs> now he's trying to stay out of trouble. Why 
quite a simple combat system. Ah. Damn, didn't expect that to work. Get my hat back. Thank you. That's cheating. <laughs> Did it. Button mash. Button mash. Button mash. Button mash. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again. That'll do. Uh oh. Ow. Double ow. Quadruple ow? I do. Ow. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Keep hitting him. God. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. Just keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Oh. Stop, stop. Please, please. I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Ooh. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? <coughs> Come on. It's a very rough melee system to get used to. Hey, I got a gold for that. What? They never got gold. Ow. Oh. 
I went through there. All right. Will they let me loot them? <laughs> Get my hat back. I've just lost the bounty. I don't want to get another one. So I'll refrain from looting everything I can see. Ow! I know there's a place to clean up. Oh, screw it. That horse was about to kick me in the head. Job, Mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. Always convincing. It's fun being with you, mister. Okay. Can I hold you a second, mister? Ugh. Can I? Screw it, I need the good karma. <laughs> okay, just quickly. <laughs> that felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. We got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. <sighs> Evening, partner. Lester. Nice evening. Just trying to be nice to people. Let's not piss off the locals. Alright, so, got some missions back at camp. Can't possibly screw up there! Ooh, Uncle Zaya, Kieran, Leopold. Let's go, Uncle, first. <clears throat> I went from paying off a bounty to get into a bar fight straight away. Try to be better! The thing is, in the early stages of this game, a lot of it is tutorial. Which I don't mind given how many systems. Oh, okay. Law never seemed to find the bodies in this town. Damnedest thing. Look at you. Another coward trying to play it tough. You looking to prove something here? Run along. Your mama's expecting you home. You're done here. Okay, tough guy. It's okay. He's in a he's in a Driscoll. It doesn't matter. What the hell? Doesn't count. Ow. Next time. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to get me in trouble. It shouldn't. Besides, he got off a lot better than the last O'Driscoll's. Okay, boy. Bork. Oh. That music is usually reserved for bad things happening. Uh, I don't have a brush. Crap. Yeah, that's it, boy. <sighs> yeah, boy. I just can feed him. I'm gonna have to buy myself a brush. Like the easiest way to get karma in this game is just by looking after your horse. 
Which, to be fair, is legit. Sorry. Okay. Hey! Love it. Got a handbrake turn, essentially. Stammer increased, health increased, and a neat little trick. Let's see what Uncle wants me to do. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, Fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. Let's go. All right, you know the way? Yeah, me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Ooh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. You mean drinking. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to drink before the fight started. Yep. Okay. Goal number one. Don't flip the goddamn carriage. Uh. Ladies, bring us a song. <laughs> Rockstar get right. So there's little moments where it's not dark, depressing, broody. Oh. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? <laughs> so with Lumbago. You could help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure. Need the karma. Uh, thanks. It's the white one over there. Okay. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Take it easy then. Easy. That's okay. Easy. You're okay. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. 
Good boy. I'm walking back without getting kicked in the head or run over by a train. Again, the quiet moments. Always so well done. Like the half of the reason this is an absolute masterpiece is that it does everything properly. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman? No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Alright. Don't kick me! Oh! Life flashed before my eyes there. Come on, let's go! To Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Or you can pick up some bad uh. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. <laughs> I'm get myself a brush. No, don't run him over. What is wrong? Ooh. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. <clears throat> we'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. <laughs> Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. Even on a PS4, this thing looks amazing still. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah. I think I should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Wait. Are you the feller who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? Yeah, that all got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. <laughs> sure, well, these things happen. And that was some good viewing. Don't reckon folk ever seen Tommy lose a fight before. Well, it's all done now. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Let's see if I can get the horse care thing. Should be able to get it. There it is. Get a brush. Uh. Well, I know what.
what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Damn it. So, you're actually buying for once? You feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. <laughs> well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Well, time to go knock some heads again. Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Oh, he's only going for a gun. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Oof. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's not foreshadowing at all. Can I help you, sir? Come on! Try and help people! I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Sir? No trouble now, please. Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. I'm getting what I paid for. No, you ain't. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Ow, ow, ow. Waste of my time. What is it? He getting looted. Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. No problem. No problem at all. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. 
Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just Pretty sure that's not yeah. my horse. Oh yeah. Get back here right now. Okay. Oh, I should not hit a single chicken. That's impressive. No, you ain't. To help or to not help? That is the question. Help me! Oh, final question. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me out. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes <coughs> me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Uh, I'm Just trying to be nice. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. <laughs> I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <sighs> Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. That went well. Uh, I guess I should. Oh. Oh wow. I got foggy real fast. Come on, let's go get back to your owner. Remember where the owner is. Rip. 
I just saved two. Oh, for God's sake. Fucking fine. Okay, you got me. You there. Take your man. Oh, hell, you're you coming with me if I have to drag you myself. <laughs> you had this coming. Well, at least I'm not dead. <laughs> That's twice I've managed to get myself in big trouble. Let off. Wow. Okay. Okay. More missions. Usually, when you get locked up like that, they keep you around for a bit, and then you have to get you have to broken out. Me. No, not out to trouble you. And the gang usually have to come around and break you out. I was not expecting to a get in trouble for stopping someone getting robbed. Uh, at least I'm still in the good honor side. Oh. Uh, let's go around. Yeah, okay. Got you to eagle vision like that. Yes. Ah. Uh-huh. That is, a uh, pretty rough. <laughs> oh, you poor bastard. <sighs> yes, this is the start of a, a side mission quest line that gets pretty dark. Check them out because they look very out of place, those map markers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Someone gonna have a go at me for getting arrested. I wouldn't blame him. Hey, 
see if I can give anything towards the camp. Good morning, Arthur. Okay there, Dutch? Yeah. When are you going to meet Trelawney and the others? If there's a chance to get to Sean. I know, I know. I'm on it, I promise. Hello, Dutch. Asshole. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I've probably got a few things I can hand over. <laughs> I plan... Definitely thought that. Oh god. Oh, that must be another unlock. Right. Gonna do some other stuff first. Oh. Morning, Arthur. Please. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said. I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah, uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll's holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at six point cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Ah, uh, throwing oh, knife. Driscoll. Are you sure as shit was? John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. I can tell there's going to be a lot of shooting and a lot of looting to do. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you hot. <laughs> Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If I got my bearings, it's over here. 
Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. <laughs> well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on. Now. Who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. <laughs> Going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? okay yes, and I'm going me. to shout about it as morning. we're moving in. All right, then. Through the trees here. Again, I do not remember this mission. I'm getting old. I can't remember half the crap I did. Close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. Oh. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said. Uh, uh, yep. Easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. OK, 
Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yep. And Cormo Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. And over there, someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the trip. Someone getting shanked. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay, go to work. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Now the next two. What's the plan? Keep back with it. If you won't hear us, when I move, you move. Take him out at a distance. I can do that. Sooner we get this over with. Good work. On the camp. Loot time. Oh, you get so much good stuff. And yeah, the knife still stuck in his head. Platinum. That went well. Oh, 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 we catch you on a wash. It's making this boy. Run ahead if you know what's good for you. You're a first list of the rest of the night. Okay. Oh, God, that he was close. Not very nice. Nice. Gotta move up. Get closer. Ah! No, don't leave him. Oh no! When you loot, I loot. What you stashing in here? Uh, this will go. We'll be back to the regular. I lost my goddamn hat again. Do need gun oil. So I don't know why the guy turned around when he did. That did not help things. 
Yeah, 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 I'm just cleaning my gun. I actually can't see where the cabin door is. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. Get lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right, you are. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting the weight. Oh, money, a dollar. Don't even have a shotgun yet, but definitely worth taking. So she's seeing shotgun slugs in this are brutal. Great thing about being this early on, you can just take whatever you want. I've just seen the double barrel. Nice. I'll clean it. Clean, clean, clean. Search the chimney. At least you got something tucked away. Jesus Christ. Six hundred dollars. Oh. Oh. Let's get to loot this guy. Okay. That's not actually a bad place to finish, because while we haven't progressed in the story as much as I was hoping, we have now paid off our debts, twice, um, and we've pretty much got a good basis. We've got a good starting point here, got a quite a bit of money now. Uh, I still don't have my hat. That's slightly annoying, but I will find it. Plus, I now also have shotgun slugs for this thing. And in the next episode, I will probably have to demonstrate why shotgun slugs in this are so, so brutal. What? Whoa, 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 oh, okay, run, 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 run. I cannot stay here. No, 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 no. I'm not getting a bounty 
Fuck that. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I almost stacked it off the cliff. Holy shit. So, funny story, I completely forgot that if you end a mission after a long firefight, lawmen show up! And even if you aren't the aggressor, they still take it out on you! Fun! Ugh. Okay, and on that, we will now end this episode. Thanks for watching, and I plan to get the next one out a lot quicker than this one took. Promise. Bye!